Okay. Alright, I think we're all set now. Alright, let's go back into time compression. President, they tropicans await elections next year. They wish to show their everlasting love and respect for you. They may have used different words, but that does not matter. Okay. So, obviously, it's time for elections again. This is going to be a little bit more of a close one, but I think I can come out on top. Especially if I promise something good. So, what is the problem? Religion? No, it's definitely entertainment. And we are going to cater to their better need because we are actually making entertaining things for them. Communists? Good lord, communism. Promise? Adequate housing? Yeah, this is the problem when you run out of big buildings to build. And with this being kind of close, I do need something to boost me over the edge. So, I will do adequate housing. Because we have all this lined up. So... Free people of tropical! I would like to address you in this crucial time of our development. In these dire times, we have managed to pull through and have economic growth despite all adversity. I salute you for that fact. Yes, there are problems. There will always be problems, especially in the current economic situation. The lack of proper entertainment, about which I hear so much these days, is one of them. And it will be resolved, as will all others, in time, as the global economy stabilizes. Through the years of my presidency, I have received your gratitude, my compañeros. Alas! I am nothing but a humble servant, and you are my masters, my employers. I must, in turn, pay my respects to you, the everyday workers, especially to the communists. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow will come after the victory, and I have plans for tomorrow. I promise you that in my next term, people will no longer have to live in shacks. This speech is no propaganda. You will know it after our victory. Woohoo! Alright, so... As I was going to say before, I wanted to boost the priorities up because they're building other things right now. So I kind of wanted to get that situated. So, let's put all of these, actually, well, except for the garages, of course, on hiatus. Alright. Okay, let's, uh, actually, you know what, we have to build these electric substations as a high priority. Because they're gonna get mad if all of a sudden the power goes out. Alright, let's go. Let's speed things up. Yeah, let's speed things up. It takes a long time to build a biofarm. Two citizens decided to leave Tropico. Well, good riddance. Things are just starting to get better, and you want to leave? Fine, I'm not going to stop you. Oh, I put that backwards. Oh, well. Look at the votes already. Whew. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. I did not see that problem happening. I put it in the wrong spot. No, that's even... Can it let me just place it randomly now? It can. Crap. What the heck? How does it just jump like that over here? Well, that could work in our favor. Yeah, oh god, that's... Am I reading this wrong? What's going on? What's the problem here? Oh, I, I messed a lot of things up. Ugh. Let's redo this. Alright, so I have that. It's my very first substation right there. Okay. And I'm actually going to swing it around this way. And that should work. Modern apartment, modern apartment. Good. What is it now? It's always all work and no play for Presidente. That is right, Presidente. Holy crap, it's like we're growing a forest here. <laughs> That's all you can see from up here. You know what? Just quick build it. I'm not going to wait for those guys. They're working on housing. In fact... Um, can I do anything that'll help me with what I'm doing right now? I don't think so. Inquisition. Nope! Okay, look at that. Okay. In the woods. Carrying the electricity far and wide. Because <laughs> we're going to need electricity for the entertainment district too, so... And over here, actually. Actually, I think the roads help spread some of the, uh... I don't know. Don't know exactly how that works. The military will look after that one. Very nice, it covers the whole district. And I'll place another one right in there just in case we need it over here. Okay. So they're all building the modern apartments. Let's, um, they're all building one modern apartment. Let's speed things up. Oh crap, wait. Are they st no, they need to be connected. Problems with electricity right now. That's all.
Okay, that's done. Good! Adequate housing for everyone. And kiosks! Are you a rebel? My dear Presidente, the election day draws near? Yeah, I have no need to fraud... fraudulate? I don't know. Uh -oh. Presidente, our Minister of Foreign Affairs has caused a diplomatic incident by using a fork during the official sushi party organized by the Japanese ambassador. Okay, so... When politely asked to use traditional chopsticks and said, our minister snapped back that he will eat his sushi however he bloody pleases. He managed to pierce three other foreign dignitaries with his fork while trying to consume his sushi. <sighs> Thus, turning the wrath of all major geopolitical geopolitical powers against us. Yeah, let the incompetent fool go. Fire him! Oh, Castro. Victoria Antoine. Let's put her in. Congratulations, Presidente. You have Thank won you. Buena tarde. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, we'll just let them keep building the uh, modern apartments. But, oh god. We need these up now. God, our island is having problem with electricity. <laughs> okay. Why don't you try President Day cereal? Completely organic for people like you, Sonny. It's made from stuff that even animals won't eat. No cereal can be organic enough. The President Day brand doing okay then? Sure. President Day is so popular, everything with his name sells. Yay, I've become respected. <laughs> Finally. People will stop protesting, maybe. That would be very nice if they would. I'm trying to think on what. Yeah, we need a foreign office. Definitely need a foreign office. That could be. Is the entrance to this place? Oh, that is right there. Good lord, look at that. That's insane. Well, I just screwed up the ground over here, so I'm gonna have to place it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that. That's how you terraform in, uh, Tropico 4. Ah, oh, that's crazy. Let's shove a bunch of these beautiful potted plants here. Oh, oh no. That's, okay, just one. One will work. Okay, yeah, just one on both sides. Well, <laughs> that'll do her. My friend, I know I promised you my second best camel as a gift, but she died <laughs> tragically, and I must give you something else. This is what I was talking about. Finally, $30,000 from the Middle East because their camel has died tragically. Awesome. 
Very cool. And it's not a little bit of money. It's a, it's a lot of money. It's crazy. Okay, and after that, house. I'm actually gonna build a road there and a garage. And what I think I'll be able to do is probably build one more of those. Yeah, that'll work. Not much has happened over here, but we're getting there. Oh, we can build the bank now. That'll help with our... Um, siphons money from the treasure... Yeah. Okay, so the slush fund. We're going to want that to help us with our Swiss bank account achievement or goal or whatnot. We're also going to want a stock... Uh, it's getting late, so I can't really talk. A stock exchange. Two citizens have become criminals. Look at all the children. No me interesa. Muy buena. Uh-huh. Sí, muy buena. Uh-huh. ¿Qué ocurre? Buena tarde. ¿Qué necesitas? Muy buena. That's a lot of criminals. I was hoping that would flatten it out, but maybe not. That does its job, huh? Whew. Awesome. Uh, what was I going to put there? I don't even remember what I was going to put. Oh, right. The, uh... Stock exchange. to more decorations now that I can uh, properly place these without having issues. All right. Speed things up again. Oh, what happened? Another one? Presidente, one of my tankers New Titanic has hit. Wait, do we still have that other one out there, though? No, the other one's gone. So that must have been cleaned up, so... Yeah. You know, one thing I actually do want to start doing now is actually making tourism. You know. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to pay to have this cleaned. I've got enough money for it. And I'm actually going to start to build this bridge. And, um... So the way to do it, you've seen me, you know, flatten the terrain over here. That's basically how you do it. You know, you um, you start out like that, right? Slowly builds land. It does take some time. You could use, uh, like, the garage to make it go faster. I'm using this because I think I can get it more precise this way. I don't know. So that's what I'm doing. I guess it doesn't matter, though. Okay. Yeah, and it eventually will create a stretch of land. Let's stretch this side out now. Okay. No. Nope. Okay. No. 
Okay, now we've got our little road. And what we can do with this road is decorate it! With beautiful trees. <laughs> This isn't exactly, uh, symmetrical, but it'll have to do. Here we go, and that'll be our tourist area here. So, let me continue building this way. Basically set up another grid-type fashion in here. Okay. So first things first, we continue building the rest of this stuff. And we worry about tourism in a later episode. I just wanted to build this bridge, have it all secure. Okay, now we're just gonna connect that over here. Perfect. Now we have the tourist all set up, so we can start work on that pretty soon. But let's continue on here. Because that's what's important. The mainland. Okay, looks like there are some new items. Um, we unlock the borehole mine, which digs gold, bauxite, and iron. All resource deposits underneath. It'll exploit all... Okay, whatever. Commodity price of weapons increased by 25%. I just want to see... Four hole mine. Oh, right there. I'm confused. I've never seen a resource that actually overlaps, so I, I am kind of confused on what it is telling me. Yeah, I've never seen overlapped resources, so I really have no idea. It's probably just more efficient. That's what I'm going to say. Oh, I just unlocked... Another achievement. It's for the, uh, it's for cleaning the oil spill. That's what it is. But I will show you guys just in case you want to know what the exact description is. Cleaned an oil spill in less than four months. Okay. Okay, and the residential section is basically all built. I don't think there is one shack. I would be proud to die in a modern communist tropical hospital, Comrade Presidente. Yay! I really don't think there's any shacks in the island. Did I? Oh, look at this! That actually makes me really happy. I have never done that. Can is there some way to check? Up. Oh. Lists. By housing. Oh wait, no, where are they? No no no, where's your where's your house? Ah, oh, right there. And yeah, oh, they're, they're the only two people living in the shack. What the hell, man? Well, now there's no shacks on the island. Hooray! Homeless. Oh, great. Well, why don't you come stay in our nice, fabulous, modern apartment block? Homes for everyone! I actually just unlocked another achievement. 
you had a population of over 300 and it had no shacks. Cool. This has been a very productive episode, I have to say. A lot of things have happened. A whole crap ton of things have happened. <laughs> What's the next that we're going to uh, unlock? 75. The solar power plant, which will help us greatly. Okay, we had the bank built. They're not doing anything. Oh, they're finally going to go build the ranches now. Well, just the garage, I guess. They've been high priority for a long time. <laughs> How are we doing with the rebels? Zero rebels. Fantastic. Number of criminals? I bet you they're mostly all locked away. Oh yeah, they're all locked away. We're doing great, guys. Very great. Very great. Very good. Very good. <laughs> I'm actually very excited with this Let's Play. What we can do to... Spruce up the outside... Of our palace here. That I can't believe I haven't done yet. Let's just add these nice little... Gardens. Until we can find better use with this area. Which I don't know if we can. Oh. Cool. Two students be. Why did you become. bad people? ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Sí. Buenas tardes. Sí. Excelencia. Laydona and uh -huh. Uh -huh. Buenos días. Maribel. I don't know. Alright, the organic organic farm is done. And it creates one of everything, I guess. And they have corrals for the different types. Looks a bit... I don't know. Looks cool, though. Uh, yeah, I think it has grazing areas for... That is sick. We're going to be making a lot of stuff. I don't know... Can we get smoked beef? Oh, it produces smoked beef. And an additional resource depending on the workload. Wait a minute. Organic ranches only grow cattle that won't that want to be eaten. Is that supposed to be a joke? I'm kinda confused. Anyways. We'll go a little bit more, and then we'll stop for the night. Of course, you're watching different episodes, but, you know, whatever. <sighs> Alright, the foreign office is up, and actually we're building the stock exchange too, which is going to provide private businesses to come onto the island. Which is also good. We can actually open this back up to everybody. Because we'll be able to build more houses soon. Modern Tropico, guys. This is what it's starting to look like. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Alright, so I'm going to call it here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. 
And uh, yeah, as always, stay tuned for more.